Good evening. Thank you for coming to St. Gregory the Great's Teze evening service. Your officiants this evening are Ruth Elizabeth Conine Nakano and Daniel Nakano. David Stukesbury is your lector. Piano is provided by Annette Bates. And I am Stacy Court, your cantor song leader. Whenever it's your turn to sing, I'll raise my hand like this. Thank you again for being here. Let us begin with a moment of silence to gather ourselves as we enter, enter into God's presence. Our service this evening begins on page 127 of the Book of Common Prayer or in your bulletin. The Almighty God grant us a peaceful night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord. The maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you through our own fault in thought and word and deed, in what we have left undone. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, forgive us all our offenses and grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. May the Almighty God grant us forgiveness of all of our sins and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty God, we give you thanks for surrounding us as daylight fades with the brightness of the Vesper light. And we implore you of your great mercy that as you enfold us with the radiance of this light, so you will shine into our hearts the brightness of your Holy Spirit through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen.
Let us pray together, O gracious light. O gracious light, pure brightness of the everlasting Father in heaven. O Jesus Christ, holy and blessed. Now as we come to the setting of the sun and our eyes behold the vesper light, we sing your praises, O God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are worthy at all times to be praised by happy voices, O Son of God, O giver of life, and to be glorified through all the worlds. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory, Glory to, to the, the Father, Father and, and to the Son, and, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as, as it was in the beginning, beginning is now, now and, and will, will be forever. forever. Amen. Amen. I was glad when they said to me, let us go to the house of the Lord. Now our feet are standing within your gates, O Jerusalem. Jerusalem is built as a city that is at unity with itself. To which the tribes go up, the tribes of the Lord, the assembly of Israel, to praise the name of the Lord. For there are the thrones of judgment, the thrones of the house of David. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. May they prosper who love you. Peace be within your walls and quietness within your towers. For my brethren and companions' sake, I pray for your prosperity. Because of the house of the Lord our God, I will seek to do you good. Glory, Glory to, to the, the Father and, and to the, the Son and, and to, to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as, as it was in the beginning, beginning is now, now and will, will be forever. forever. Amen. A reading from Ephesians. I, therefore, the prisoner in the Lord, beg you to lead a life worthy of the calling to which you have been called, with all humility and gentleness, with patience, bearing with one another in love, making every effort to maintain the unity of the spirit in the bond of peace. There is one body and one spirit. Just as you were called to be the one hope of calling, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all, who is above all and through all and in all. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
A reading from John. Jesus said, I have made your name known to those to those whom you gave me from the world. They were yours and you gave them to me and they have kept your word. I am not asking you to take them out of the world, but I ask you to protect them from the evil one. They do not belong to the world, just as I do not belong to the world. Sanctify them in the truth. Your word is truth. As you have sent me into the world, so I have sent them into the world. And for their sakes, I sanctify myself so that they also may be sanctified in truth. I ask not only on behalf of these, but also on behalf of those who will believe in me through their word, that they may be all one. As you, Father, are in me and I am in you, may they also be in us, so that the world may believe that you have sent me. The glory that you have given me, I have given them, so that they may be one as we are one. I in them and you in me, that they may be completely one, so that the world may know that you have sent me and how and have loved them even as you have loved me. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us quietly reflect on what the Divine Spirit is saying to each of us as members of her church.
our service continues with the prayers. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Let us thank God whom we worship here in the beauty of holiness. Eternal God, the heaven of heavens cannot contain you much less the walls of temples made with hands. Graciously receive our thanks for this community and accept the work of our hands offered to your honor and glory. For the church universal of which these visible buildings and virtual gatherings are the symbol. We thank you, Lord. For your presence, whenever two or three have gathered together in your name. We thank you, Lord. For this community where we may be still and know that you are God. We thank you, Lord. For making us children by adoption and grace, and refreshing us day by day with the bread of life. We thank you, Lord. For the knowledge of your will and the grace to perform it. We thank you, Lord. For the fulfilling of our desires and petitions as you see best for us. We thank you, Lord. For the pardon of our sins which restores us to the company of your faithful people. We thank you, Lord. For the blessing of our vows and the crowning of our years with your goodness. We thank you, Lord. For the faith of those who have gone before us and for our encouragement by their perseverance. We thank you, Lord for the fellowship of St. Gregory the Great and of all your saints. We thank you, Lord. Yours, O oh Lord, is the greatness, the power, the glory, the victory, and the majesty. For everything in heaven and on earth is yours. And you are exalted as head over all. Amen. Amen. Let us pray the Lord's Prayer in unison. Our Father, Father who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and, and forgive us our trespasses. trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Almighty God, whose blessed Son, before his passion, prayed for his disciples, that they might be one, as you and he are one. Grant that your church, being bound together in love and obedience to you, be united in one body by the one spirit, that the world might believe in him whom you have sent, your son, Jesus Christ, our Lord who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Praying for all of us God's protection during this uncertain period as the world battles the COVID-19 pandemic. Let us not forget that not everything is canceled. The sun is not canceled. 
The season is not canceled. Relationships are not canceled. Love is not canceled. And most importantly, hope is not canceled. Continue to guide us to make the right choices to keep ourselves and our loved ones safe. We pray for all of those who have been affected and killed by the coronavirus. Amen. with your peace. You alone, O Lord, are holy. Come and fill our hearts with your peace. Alleluia. Come and fill our hearts with your peace. You The Lord bless us and keep us. Amen. The Lord make their faces to shine upon us and be gracious unto us. Amen. The Lord lift their countenance upon us and give us peace. Amen. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God.